In the world of hockey, there exists a lingering enigma that seems to haunt the Toronto Maple Leafs and their annoying diehard fans every time they face off against their rivals, the Boston Bruins. This inexplicable pattern of defeat has led many to ponder whether there may be a curse at play, reminiscent of the historic curse of the Bambino that once plagued the Boston Red Sox. As the Maple Leafs struggle to overcome the Bruins, questions arise. Is it a matter of sure talent? The way supernatural is at work. The debate rages on as fans, analysts, and players alike grapple with the enduring mystery of the Maple Leaf struggles against their Boston adversaries. Why does winning seem impossible for the Toronto Maple Leafs? Today on Sportsline, we're diving deep into these questions. From the Bambino to the Bruins, do the Maple Leafs have a Bruins curse? From the heartbreak of Game 7 defeats to the missed opportunities and emotional roller coasters of playoff series past, the Maple Leafs' encounters with the Bruins have become synonymous with despair. It's now becoming a running gag whenever the Leafs are matched up with the Boston Bruins in the playoffs. The smart money would be for a sports better to take the money line on the Bruins over the Maple Leafs in any playoff scenario. Guaranteed. Despite flashes of brilliance and regular season dominance, the Leafs find themselves in a web of defeat whenever they face the Bruins in the postseason. It's back to the dramatic playoff series of 2013 where the Leafs suffered a gut-wrenching defeat in Game 7. The subsequent encounters in 2018, 2019, and most recently, 2024 have only served to deepen the narrative of the curse leaving fans and analysts alike grasping for answers. While superstition may fuel the belief in a curse, the struggles of key players like Austin Matthews and William Nylander highlight the challenges faced by the Leafs in overcoming the Boston Bruins curse. Injuries, health issues, and inconsistent performances of Leafs fans still are incredibly bitter about losing out on the Connor McDavid lottery to the Edmonton Oilers while at the same time engaging in sincere debates on who's the better player. Matthews or McDavid. Probably the player that actually shows up in the playoffs would be our take. I'm retarded. Maybe it's not a magical curse, nor a player personnel problem but rather an unrealistic expectation from a toxic fan base that keeps the Leafs skating in concrete. I mean, at mid-season, Austin Matthews looked to be a lock to hit the elusive 70-goal mark. But as the pressure mounted and the fans continued to project expectations, those very same expectations began to weigh down Matthews. Austin Matthews would fall just short of 70 with a more fitting number of 69 as the All-Star forward played like ass in the conclusion of the regular season and continuing throughout this postseason. As the debate rages on, the Toronto Maple Leafs stand in Bruins, whether curse or simply caught in the throes of a fiercely competitive rivalry, the Maple Leafs' quest for redemption against their Boston adversaries continues to captivate their painfully annoying fan base, leaving us to ponder the true nature of the curse that haunts Canada's most popular NHL franchise. The curse of the Bambino is no more, gone like the wind. Red Sox fans have longed to hear it. The Boston Red Sox are world champions. But in its place, a new curse has risen, the curse of the Bruins. Leafs fans can now only fantasize on the day that the curse of the Bruins comes to an end and they lift Lord Stanley once again. The only thing that us at Sportslam can sincerely say is that we hope that this curse lasts as long as the curse of the Bambino, which was 86 long years. Currently, the Toronto Maple Leafs are sitting on a 57-year drought, so just 29 years to go. Hold on tight, you pathetically fans. This curse isn't over just yet. That's all the slime for today. Please like, share, and subscribe 